Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Saturday morning, and we're going to turn it over to Kathy. I think we have quite a few sales to go through, but she's going to thank you guys for some coffees. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Um, I have it on my phone because there was four of you guys. Um, yesterday, we didn't record a video because I met. I went up to Denver to meet up with five resellers, and they were visiting from Texas, and then Sarah Stiles, who already lives in Denver, but... We went to the bins for a few hours, had a good time, and some of you guys were sending us coffees during that time, so thank you so much. The first one was Dina. She bought us two coffees and said, I just love your channel. Chris and Kathy, you're the first ones to pop up and genuinely the only channel I watch as soon as a new video comes out. Oh, Keep wow. it up, excited about the spreadsheet. So thank that you. was really nice. And Very yeah, generous. I think while I was gone, Chris kind of had the home to himself without me asking him to do stuff. Yeah. So he got the spreadsheet video recorded. So now he just got to just got to get down. it out. <laughs> Sit down, edit that, and yeah. make sure it makes sense. So it's coming everybody. soon, guys. Yeah. And today, since we don't have a video to put out from yesterday, <laughs> today is going to be the video that we're recording right now. So yeah. kind of um, caught up. We were yeah. not behind, but you know. Yeah. It was to where like almost a week went by before yeah. you'd see the video of what sold. <laughs> Stuff so. was being delivered to people before yeah. we even showed it here. And there's a lot of cases where people are looking for things in like our haul videos that have already sold. And, yeah. you know, they didn't know until like <laughs> days later. And anyway, things are getting caught up now. And thank you so much for that, for those coffees. Yes. Thank we appreciate you so much. it. And then Celia um, brought us three copies and said, new watchers. Oh, it says Celia and Ed, new watchers, sellers, and love your channel. Thank you for graciously teaching us about brands and shipping. Awesome. So, thank you. Thank Celia you so much for the Ed. support. Um, and then Beatrice, who I know she's been watching our yeah. channel since the beginning and always comments and spot things supporter. from us. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Beatrice. She bought us three copies and says, always love your videos. You guys rock. So, thank, thank you, you so Beatrice. much, Beatrice. <laughs> and then um, Phyllis bought us four copies and said you guys are definitely the best resellers on youtube your videos make me feel like we're friends i'm a ginger too by the way although <laughs> i'm old enough to be your mom <laughs> keep up the good work god's richest uh, blessings on you both gingers unite <laughs> no. <laughs> so you guys are amazing thank you so much yeah thank I you so much for all the amazing support guys haven't had a coffee yet today because yeah. it's saturday and i actually I don't know. Going to the bins makes me so tired. So when I got home last night, she crashed. I mean, I came home early. I wanted to shop more in Denver, but I was just like over it. And yeah. then I came home and yeah, I was asleep by like eight and then slept till eight this morning. So that's been a while <laughs> since I've got to do that. So, all right. Definitely getting a coffee after I take these packages. Though. Yeah. All right. First thing that sold just came through a couple minutes ago are these Sorrel Kids snow boots. I picked these up at Goodwill for $12.99 and they sold for $35 plus shipping on Mercari. Um, those are going UPS, the new Smart Post, so I do need to find a box for those. I hate them box CC. These are some LLB men's uh, flannel line jeans. So these I picked up for $7.99 and they sold on Facebook Marketplace for $30 plus shipping. And those are heavy, so the buyer had to pay $13.50 to ship those out because wow. these I listed before they had like all the other UPS and stuff. So right. yeah, it's a two to five pound label or whatever is like that much. <laughs> no. You're not or, using that box at all. <laughs> no, but they're it's just up on thick, top. So I don't know if they're gonna like a mailing box? In a box? mailing box. Well, let me see. I have one here. I need to restock my boxes. I might just do a mailer then. A bit. Yeah, the way they're folded, they're just too fat to fit in here. So I might do that big box. <laughs> just, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if not, I'll double. Well, they're already in a bag. I'll just put them in a big. Where did it sell? Oh, on those Facebook? sold on Facebook. Okay, yeah. so, so it's we a can't five use a regional B or anything. No, but we have a lot of weight to work with. Yeah. All right, BF. All right, these are some Skechers like boat shoes. I have eight ninety nine into them and had them listed around thirty. And someone was watching them on eBay. I sent them an offer twenty five plus shipping. So those are super lightweight and will easily fit in a poly mailer. Alrighty. 
Our kiddos are playing downstairs. Yeah. You hear them a little bit. <laughs> Kathy found them some connects <laughs> while up in Denver, and they've been playing with those oh, yeah. all morning. Yeah, I, f I feel like I felt <laughs> more for our own selves than I did to self. But yeah. There's a couple of things that I just listed that. So there should be haul videos and stuff coming out on that stuff soon. Yeah, we might even do some sort of collaboration, but we'll also do our own haul. All right, so these are some good American jeans. So these... I actually had bought off Poshmark for myself because like after I sold a couple pairs, I was like, oh, those feel nice. I want to try a pair. So found a pair on Posh, bought them. They, I did wear them. You guys might have seen them in one video. So they felt okay when I like first put them on, but like throughout the day, they just like got really, this is my problem with all jeans. I don't know how anyone finds <laughs> cute jeans, but like they I like how they up. fit, but yeah, they just got like super baggy throughout the day. You know what I mean? Like just all the, I don't know. Just really wide. Very flattering, yeah, right? Not very flattering, so. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't think I'd wear them again, so I relisted them. And so I had bought them off Posh for 35 plus the shipping and everything. I was all in 44.25. And the comps weren't as good as they were when I sold the couple pairs a few months back. So, and plus these, they did show somewhere. Like, honestly, I almost returned them when I got them because there's like, it's not quite a hole, but like there's a start of a hole here and they just got some wear spots, which wasn't disclosed, but they had fit and I was like, that's fine. I'm, I'll just keep wearing them. But since I wasn't, since now <laughs> that I'm not wearing them, uh, someone offered me 30, which means I make $24 after the Poshmark fee. So I'm losing about 20 bucks and I only wear them one time, but that's okay. Yeah, that's it happens. the risk that you take when you buy um, online. Yeah. So. We like to look at those kinds of things in the average yes. kind of idea, right? Like, yes, this was on the higher part of the, the loss, you know, average. But, you know, when you average it out with all of the other items that we do that with, it, you know, it works itself out to now still be worth it for I us. I don't like good American jeans for myself. <laughs> so. It's funny because that nice kind of jeans. jean that stretches out a little bit, the more you wear it, that's what I look for in a pair of jeans as a man. I don't know if that's what know, other men do. They just like, by the end of the day, we're just like yeah. so baggy. That's what I like in and my jeans. And they're skinny jeans, so they're not supposed to be baggy. Oh, yeah. All right, let's set this aside. Our kiddos are being kind of loud. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure they're not screaming at each other. All right, BB. are some Hannah Anderson little Yeti slippers. These I had bought for us on Cyrus for, or Santa bought them for, <laughs> for Christmas, I think last year. So he did get some wear out of them, but he's outgrown them now. So I relisted them. So I had paid $12.62 all in last year. And then I sold them for $10.95 plus shipping. So I am losing a few bucks, but that's okay. All right, and then this owl fleece. So this I, like I this bought, fleece. yeah. It took me forever to list because it's, I don't know, I won't say it's unbranded because this is the only tag on it, which it just seems like maybe it's... Russian or something. Yeah, I mean, when I typed this word into Google, like, literally nothing came up, so... I don't know. Anyways, that's why it took me forever to list it. Otherwise, it looks, like, new without tag. It's super soft. The fleece is still really fluffy, and... I had bought it at the bin, so I have a dollar thirty-one into it. Because it's unbranded, I just listed it at 30, and then I sent an offer to Watcher of 24 plus shipping, so still making about a $20 profit. It sold in like a day after being listed, but I've had it sitting around since April, just unlisted. And that's pretty fluffy, but it's not that heavy, so it's going out first class, so going in a bigger poly. All right, shoe shelf. Right, so these shape ups. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are some men's size 13, really good shape. I did pay up for these at $12.99 at Goodwill. The men's ones seem to sell for more than the women's. Um, these ones sold for $53.29 plus shipping on eBay. So really good sale. Because they're such a large size, they don't fit in a shoe box. So I'm gonna send them out in the 13 by 13 by nine. Thankfully, those are going to California because I had to pay for um, uh, four pounds, but it only cost $10 since it was just California. Okay. But yeah, if that was four pounds to New York, that'd probably been like 16 or 18 bucks. So, <laughs> so this pot that I just finally listed, um, I've had it for a while, but just listed like two days ago. 
Uh, the brand is Royal Queen. I don't know. I just could tell it was like a nice pot, so it didn't sell for a ton. I have $3.99 into it. Sold for $18.65 plus ship, but again, really fast, so. Uh, I'm trying not to really pick up pots and pans anymore, but <laughs> I would say that if you like that kind of stuff, that was a fast selling one if you ever find it. How does it feel being a pot seller? <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No comment. <laughs> CV. All right, this is a viewer sale. So these are going out. So your name on your label was not like your real name, but I hope you're okay with me saying your real name. I think your name is Christine, just based on somewhere that I saw it, I don't know. So Christine, thank you for <laughs> buying these New Balance shoes. She got them on eBay for 35 plus ship. I think I had them listed at 40 something and she asked if I do 35. Said she was a viewer, so I was happy to do that. I had 9.99 into the shoes. So thank you so much, Christine. Christine, thank you so much for the support. And those are gonna go in a shoe box, I think, but I need to find a Oh, uh, we're out of we're stock on them up here. here. Yeah. I know we've got many boxes in our trailer, but. Yeah. All downstairs. This was the sale of the day. This is the brand. We showed it in one of our recent haul videos, Oleana, and then the Norwegian story. So um, I'm always on the lookout for like the Dale of Norway sweaters because like oh, those yeah. are the ones everyone talks about. Anyways, I pick up pretty much any sweater that's 100% wool. So I would have picked this up regardless, but it reminded me of a Dale of Norway sweater. So I knew it would do well. I didn't really look up comps in the store. I only paid $6.19 for it. I knew at the very least I'd get like 40 bucks. So that was good enough. Um, but yeah, once I got ready to list it, and this is the one that's missing the size tag. So this person paid $129.95 plus shipping and just going off the measurements that I provided. So, Which is probably better than the size tag if you true. know your measurements, yeah. but yeah. So hopefully no issues arise with that. You know, I was very specific with the measurements and said, please confirm, you know, we don't accept returns. So, but yeah, um, $129, six bucks. That's over a hundred dollar profit I made on this sweater that I just took a chance on. Yeah, so, very nice. Um, yeah, definitely look at the sweater section this time of year. Um, anything 100% will definitely, it's probably gonna sell regardless of the brand and even like partial wool sweaters depending on the pattern can do really well. Yeah, and the reason why we don't like to do stuff without size tags is because that leaves uh, opening for somebody to <laughs> claim not as described and stuff like that. So yep. <laughs> you have to basically pick a size, right, when you list it. And since there's no actual size tag there, if they don't like it, that just kind of gives them a, yeah. a reason <laughs> to get out of it and force a return. And I saw this buyer is new to eBay, zero feedback. So I always get nervous about those two. Just I yeah, know. I don't know. I've kind of I've come to realize that we haven't had any problems yeah. with people with zero feedback. It just I don't know. It's usually it's the ones with a lot of feedback yes. that are the <laughs> the, the ones that ones, know the ins and outs. They and, know how to play the system. Yeah. and get what they want. So, yeah. yeah. I assume if a person was willing to spend one hundred thirty dollars on a sweater, they checked all the details. They're being serious. Yeah. Really wanted that sweater. So. <laughs> All right, these are a pair of my son's Hannah Anderson jeans. I don't remember where we got them or whatnot, but um, they sold on Mercari this morning for 20 plus shipping, so I'm probably making all my money back. And he got to wear them, so. I don't think I've ever paid more than $20 for a pair of jeans for our kids. Probably haven't even paid more than like 15. Oh, sounds like a kid's coming in there. I'm not sure if they have, oh, oh it's, <laughs> it's just a big old kid. What you doing, Reese? <laughs> Come on, you lay in your bed. What's up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, AP. I was going to say our kids sometimes don't. Like, they take off their pajama yeah. shirts to, like, eat breakfast. So, I was worried very that they were going to come up here with no clothes on. Very often shirtless <laughs> or pantless or both. <laughs> Um, so these are some dance goes, just basic black dance goes. They sold on Posh for $59. That was my fullest price. I have 1014 into them. It's a really good sale. And again, I'll, uh, that might be a fine for a regional B actually. So it's Poshmark. <laughs> Those little boxes, they're nice, but they stick to all the other boxes, huh? 
those little foldy box things. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then this is another viewer seal. It's actually a mug. Grumpy. No way. You able to reach it? Probably not. Uh, it's the Mickey with the, the Mickey arms. mug. This is going out to Elizabeth, who said she just recently found our channel and has been watching. So, sorry, it's a little dusty. I'll wipe it down before yeah. I send it to you, Elizabeth. But, uh, yeah, she bought this Mickey mug for $8 with discount shipping on Posh. So, she accepted the Posh RV AL for that one out. We've had this a while. It was our personal mug for a while, but I believe I originally found it at a garage sale. But, yeah, it's super cute. <laughs> I love the Mickey arms. Honestly, I would, if I was going to keep it, would probably use it as a pen holder. But... <laughs> It's good for a drinking mug. <laughs> I just think it'd be a really cute pen holder. And then it's gonna go out in one of these square boxes after we bubble wrap it. I don't want that to break. Alrighty, AJ. little stride ray boots i have 2.99 into them someone offered me 12 on posh which i accepted i know it's not a huge profit but these originally i just sold at target for like 20 bucks so they're still basically paying 20 bucks after the posh marquee and everything so um i made a six dollar profit on a three dollar purchase so i know that's not amazing but i think <laughs> it's fine these took no work other than the photographs and listing, they're in like perfect shape. So I don't have to wash them or any like extra work. So. Did you say that was one of your large hauls from the shoe shoe hauls? Um, I don't remember. I don't think so, but like these are just, I just mean like these are things where if I don't have to do anything besides take a couple pictures and yeah. test it, a $6 profit, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Because again, I'm not really thinking of things as, oh, that's going to make me six. That's going to make me a hundred. That's, I just think of, I'm going to make the overall. whatever. Whenever day those sell, hopefully I made 200 bucks that day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And oftentimes she'll get like shoes like that, like in big lots. And that's where yeah. it really uh, makes it worth it. Where you're doing like 50 pairs of similar shoes, or if they're all kids shoes or something. You know, we have a video back from, uh, I don't know, about a six or eight ago. months ago, maybe a year, um, where Kathy did 65 pairs of shoes and she did it in one eight hour period. You know, broken up obviously, just because yeah. the way we work. but. <laughs> Um, it took her eight hours to get 65 pairs of kids' shoes sourced, listed, or sourced, cleaned, photographed, listed, all that kind of stuff. So, And I think it's because most of them didn't need cleaned, yeah. so, like, that's why. So, basically, that video is kind of showing, like, even though their kids' shoes, they're only going to sell for a 10 to $15 profit a piece. Yeah. I did 65 of them in a day, so if I only made $10 on each, that's still $650. Right. Potential profit that I made in one working day, so... Just kind of trying to show different ways that you can. Yeah, it's not all about get the to whatever your end goal. Is, it's not so. all about getting the turning five dollars right. into a hundred dollars because that's not an everyday occurrence. You yeah. know, like this sweater, it's the best one of the day, right? But yeah. that doesn't happen every day. So, <laughs> what does happen is all these little sales, and they right. all do add up for us. Obviously, you're you're gonna yeah. you know your businesses might vary. Everybody's different. yeah, it's like, based yeah, on I your had... location and. I had an Instagram person message me the other day, something I thought it was rude, maybe other people won't, but um, she just like, I, I've been trying to share like, okay, this is my daily sales, I made this much mm -hmm. gross, this much net, which this was from, I think a couple of weeks or something ago. Anyways, it was like a 400 something dollar sales day, in which case it was like $250 profit. Yeah. And uh, she was like, I did um, just two sales and made the same amount. And it was $128 <laughs> profit. And in my head, I'm thinking that's still half of what I made. Like, <laughs> she was basically saying, yeah. Um, because I was showing a lot of boxes. <clears throat> like people always just assume like if you're selling a bunch of packages a day, you're only making like $5 profit on each. Yeah. I don't know. It was just like, why would you just say that? Like, <laughs> I would just be happy if I saw someone with one package, 20 yeah. packages, like I would be happy for them. So right. anyways, I thought it was weird. And yeah. Um, <laughs> it yeah, just goes just... to show everybody has, you know, everybody's experience is different. Right. 
you know, based on where we're at, we can't find the stuff that, you know, people in L.A. or New York City, those those kinds of places get right. to higher dollar items. And honestly, to me, I was also thinking, like, even if I found that stuff, I would still be listing 15 items a day. It sounds like she just lists one or two items a right. day to get to her whatever she wants to right. get to. But, like, because she said time is money, which I understand that. Yeah. Which is why I just buy what I find in a one to two hour period whenever <laughs> I can source versus trying to go to every thrift store in town and look for those $100 sweaters. Because yeah. the chances of me finding those are very slim. The chances of me finding 10 to $15 profit item mm -hmm. is very high. So... Yep. Yeah. So however you want to do your business, just don't go That's... being rude to other people for how they want to run their right. business. So. Yep. There are many ways to skin a cat. I don't even know if that <laughs> saying is, you know, okay nowadays. <laughs> but who's out here skinning cats? Yep. But <laughs> um, anyway. Last sale of today so far are these Pals uh, Mary Janes. I picked these up at an estate sale a few months back. I have $7.47 into them. They sold for $30 plus shipping on Facebook. Cool. I'll go out in a shoebox as well. All right, so we'll get this stuff all packed up and then we'll be right back. You gonna help us, Reese? Seems like you're kind of avoiding us today. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys, got it all packed up, ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he didn't really have anything else to say. Uh, we did update the board. Well, Kathy updated the board and... Yeah, so and like this day, I technically did 15, but then I was setting myself up for the next day by like doing drafts because I was meeting up with the fire resellers, like I said. Yeah. So like I was just trying to draft my 15 items so I could put them live while I was out and about, which I did, but I... The first one, because I'm not used to doing it that way, I just <laughs> accidentally pushed post. So I it's like, well, I'm not going to delete it now. So I've that's why there's 16 it, so. from Thursday night. Yeah. Right. And then that's why there's 14 on that day. <laughs> so <laughs> it's still the same, but I, I'm trying to just be more the same every day. So Yeah. But one is not a huge deal. For sure. So this is... It's quite a bit of sales for a Saturday, so things... Yeah, because we still shipped. I still shipped yesterday. We just didn't have time to do a video. Yeah. I A lot of it was just, like, our kids is slumberkin stuff. That's all you guys see me sell that stuff all the time. Yeah. And it's not really profit, so... <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be what is going out today. So we're going to get this stuff off to the post office. Kathy's, Kathy's actually going to spend some time sourcing. She's been working really good getting through all of the stuff up here. And we're running low on listable inventory. So she's going to go spend some time trying to source some more easy listable things today. Um, you know, the stuff whenever we go to the bin or whenever she does the bins, that stuff, you know, tends to take a little bit more time just because you're finding stuff super cheap. Maybe you don't know quite a enough about it uh, but shoes is like where kathy really shines to be able to list stuff quickly with shoes and i'm sure anybody who is reselling out there has that specific topic or item for them that sells or lists really quick for them and that's shoes for us so anyway guys we're gonna get this stuff off to the post office and that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for watching and thanks for all the great support from our amazing viewers and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye